Good morning, good morning, it's great to be with you. Good morning, good morning, to you and you and you and you. Good morning, good morning, there's lots of work to do. Good morning, good morning, to you. Good morning, friends, glad to see you again. Let's take a look at our calendar. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and after eight comes nine. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Yesterday was Wednesday, so after Wednesday comes Thursday. Our month is April, the season is spring, and it is sunny today so far. So repeat after me. Today is the 9th of April 2020. Let's stand up. And since it's morning, we can sing our morning has come song. Let's start down at our toes. Morning has come. Night is away. Rise with the sun and welcome the day. Let's do that two more times. Morning has come, night is away. Rise with the sun and welcome the day. One more time. Morning has come, night is away. Rise with the sun and welcome the day. So friends, let's remember what we talked about the last time we met. We talked about our planet Earth, and here's a globe for us to look at together. And we know a globe represents planet Earth and it has all the continents and the water on our Earth. And do you see how this globe spins like this? Remember in that song we sang about how the Earth spins around? The Earth spins around like this. This is how the Earth moves in space. And it spins around one spin once a day. Just like that song. Maybe you went outside last night or the night before and you might have seen something in the sky that was very very bright and big and when it's full it looks like a big white circle in the sky do you know what I'm thinking about it starts with mm, moon the moon the moon goes around the earth so the Earth goes around all by itself on its axis, kind of tilted like that. Can you say axis? Let's see if we can clap that. The Earth is on an axis, and that's what makes it tilt to the side. Axis, axis. It's two claps, two syllables. The Earth is on an, an axis like this, this invisible line that goes through the Earth, and it's kind of tilted like this in space and it spins around. And the moon then goes around the earth. And it takes the moon one month. So we would have to fill up all of these days to be one month. And in one month, the moon makes its journey around the earth. You can say moon in many different languages. You could say Luna, 
which is moon in Spanish. You could say loon, which is moon in French. You could say yue liang, which is moon in Chinese. And many people and many cultures all over the world think the moon is very special because it's the brightest thing in our night sky. Did you know that the moon doesn't make its own light? Where does the light come from? Where do we get our light here on earth? The sun. The moon reflects the sun's light. Well, so our earth travels around and spins around once a day and then the moon travels around the earth once a month. If you can remember the song that we started learning last time, you can sing along with me or you can learn it right now. So we'll start with the first part. Let's get this out of the way. All right. So it goes like this. The earth spins around, the earth spins around once a day. is about the moon. So, the moon goes round the earth, the moon goes round the earth. Once a month, every month, the moon goes round the earth. Let's see if we can sing it all together. The earth spins around, the earth spins around. Once a day, As the sun sets on at the end of each day, the sky becomes darker and darker. On many clear nights, our moon shines brightly in the night sky. Our moon looks like this kind of moon because every day the moon changes just a little bit. More shadow covers the moon. But right now, the moon is pretty full. That's what we call it when it looks like a big circle. But this moon right here looks a little different. There's more shadow covering it, and that's called a crescent moon. And it looks kind of like a sea like that. Our moon is the brightest and biggest light in our night sky. It outshines all the stars and planets, which appear as small as points of light. Some planets have many moons. The Earth has, how many moons are there? We just have one. The Earth has one moon. The moon looks big and bright because it is so close to Earth compared to the many faraway stars and planets. Let's see, these people are using a special tool to look at the moon. Do you see that red tube they're looking through? That is a telescope. It helps people to look out into the night sky. And you can see the moon is close to the Earth. The moon makes no light of its own to shine. It is bright in the night sky because it reflects the sun's light. It is about one fourth the size of Earth. It is made up of rock and dust. Nothing lives on the moon. Most astronomers and other scientists think our moon formed about 4.5 billion years ago. Some believe something collided with Earth that tossed out a cloud of rock and debris. While orbiting around Earth, the rock and debris came together to form the moon. So you can see these arrows here show the sun's light shining on the moon. Astronomers are people who study space. In ancient times, people thought the moon was a powerful god or goddess. 
the Romans called their moon goddess Diana. In Greece, the moon goddess was Selene, who rode through the sky in a silver chariot. Some Native American tribes believed the moon and sun were brother and sister gods. Stories and legends were told about the shapes and shadows that show on the moon's surface. Some people said the moon showed a man's face or the man in the moon. So for a long time, people have thought the moon was very special because everyone can see it. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite. It takes about one month for the moon to travel around the Earth, just like our song. The moon makes one complete rotation for each complete trip around the sun. Thus, the same side of the moon is always facing planet Earth. So we only get to see one side of the moon. The moon goes round the Earth. The moon appears to change shape, but it doesn't. The different shapes we see are called phases of the moon. We are seeing different amounts of light being reflected on the moon. How much light we see depends on the positions of Earth, Moon, and Sun. The phases of the moon. During a new moon, the moon is almost directly between the Sun and Earth. The moon looks dark. We see no light. The moon is waxing when the lit surface we see is getting bigger. In a few days, a bit of the sunlight side of the moon shows. It forms a crescent. When the moon is a quarter of its way around Earth, it is in its first quarter phase. We see it as half lit. It is sometimes called a half moon. So you can see the phases of the moon. When it's all dark and you see nothing, it's called a new moon. When the light starts to shine on it, it's called a crescent. And when it's in half, it's called a half moon or first quarter moon. When the moon is waxing between a first quarter moon and a full moon, it is called a gibbous moon. After about two weeks since the new moon, now the entire face of the moon we see shines and it is called a full moon, kind of like right now. Then the moon will start to get smaller and be a last quarter moon and then a crescent moon and then a new moon again. Let us stand up after reading a book. Let's stick out our elbows and go to our knee. And we'll, let's see, how about, let's go to 30. Let's see if we can do it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, almost there, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Whew. Now, let's see if maybe we could just do 10 on the other side. Elbow out, go into this knee. Let's just go to 10, and we'll go backwards from 10. So we'll start at 10 and then count backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Does your heart beat fast after doing the exercises? Mine does. Did you know 30 days is almost one month? So when we did 30 crisscrosses, that was almost like as many days as it takes for the moon to go around the earth. <sighs> Let's smell a flower. A lot of candle. <sighs> smell a flower. A lot of candle. <sighs> All right, let's practice this song because it is springtime. 
right. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the springtime. I love the daffodils. I love my family. They take such good care of me. Boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada. I love the. Let's do this for mountains. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the springtime. I love the daffodils. I love my family. They take such good care of me. Boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom. Let's do it one more time. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the springtime. I love the daffodils. I love my family. They take such good care of me. Boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom. Oh, well, my friends, I have had a lovely time talking about the moon with you and we can end with this song it actually has a part that talks about the moon ready skin a ringy dinky ding skin a ringy do i love you skin a ringy dinky ding skin a ringy do i love you i love you in the morning and in afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky ding, skin a marinky do. I love you. It's true. Well, my friends, before we say goodbye, let's offer our peace. I offer you peace. I offer you friendship. I offer you love. I hear your needs. I see your beauty. I care about your feelings. We are not alone. Let's work together. Goodbye, my friends.